Hey YouTube! So I want to do a really quick video about what my port's like because I'm getting it out on Friday and getting a little nervous. So I want to hear, like, do any of you guys have implanted IVs that you've had implanted in you for a little while or a little while and then get it removed or replaced? More so, I'm getting my mine re removed. So if you have stories of what it was like to get it removed, I'd love to hear what it was like. I've never had it removed before. I've only had one implanted. So um getting a little nervous for this procedure since you don't get put to sleep for this one. You just get locals. So what was it like? How long ago did you get it out? What kind of port was it? The one that I have is called a power port. This is the card that goes along with it um, and then just has the information on the back so it's the purple branding one um, it's coming up to be five years old in the spring so I mean I guess it's old technology now so if you've had one taken out and you'd like to share your story with me I'd love to hear how it went how long it took what the recovery was like um, if it was painful or painless Anything like that, I would love to hear your stories. What do you have it for? What did you get it for chemo or Remicade or, or what did you get it for? I know I got it because I was on Remicade and my veins suck. So I kept having blown veins and like two, three, four tries to get an IV or the IV would bust or my veins would bust so it was just becoming too traumatic that my doctor referred me to get um, surgery to get a, a direct line so basically for those who don't know what one is is when people need to get IVs frequently and their veins just become scar tissue or collapsed or they just have poor veins you get an implanted IV so Basically, it's a direct line into a vein. So for me, and I think this is most people, is you get it implanted. So, hold on, try to do this so you can see that here. Um, so you'll see the three prongs. There's my scar, and then it goes into my jugular. So you can see a small, sorry, a small scar right there. Um, and that tubing goes all the way down here. So when I was getting Remicade, they would just put my V, you just feel for the three. Um, I've lost a bit of my steroid weight now, so you can actually really see it. Like, you can feel it, move it, see? Sorry if this grosses you out. Um, it's just, I'm so used to it. So it's like a triangle shape. You feel for the three prongs and then the needle goes in there and that's all there is to it. It's right into the vein. So that's what they used for my Remicade treatments. And then you have to get it flushed every month or, or so, whatever your doctor tells you to do. So they're going to, from what I hear, they're going to cut my same scar open again and remove it. What I'm worried about is like, I've had this for five years, so there's got to be some regrowth or my body trying to grow over it. So has anyone else had one for that long? And like, do they cauterize your this tissues or just cut it or I, I don't know what to expect. So um, this is something I'm experienced in getting one and having it accessed and all that, but not so much. Um, to get one out. So I'd love any feedback I can get. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it's used for if you're getting regular treatments that um, are done by infusion with IVs. You, you, you might, your doctor might refer you to get an IV implanted. So I'm getting mine out on Friday. Today's Tuesday, so I wanted to post a quick video just to see if anyone has any, um, any stories, like I've said a million times, it's the end of the night, I'm sore, I'm tired. Um, and if you have any other questions for me, just let me know. But in short, that's what it is. It's just an implanted IV so that you have a direct line um, to be used for infusions. I know some people get them for cancer um, because they have to get them for chemo um, to get their infusions done. 
So if you've had it and you feel comfortable sharing with me, if you've had it out, just really looking for feedback. I, I gotta stop saying that again. Ugh. Should I just start this video over again? I'm so tired and I just want to go to bed. Okay. Share your stories. I'm getting mine on Friday. I'll update you guys later. I'm going to bed. Have a good night and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.